Hello and welcome to Let's Compose Season 2 Episode 3, the final composition episode. In this episode, I will be finishing the piece before I'm going to orchestrate and engrave it. That's about it. Let's just dive right in. Right, back to it. I hope to finish the piece in this session so I can do one engraving video and then we're done. So let's just listen to the whole thing and see where we are in terms of time. Because I have 10 minutes recording time, which amounts to one and a half minutes of music. <laughs> So it's from 11 to 1, 1. So I'm at 50 seconds. What I was thinking last time I had these chords. Because it feels where we are now that I can return to the theme. And last time I thought of these chords, but then I thought it's more ending chords. And I'm thinking since we're repeating, what I'm going to try out is to have going to those chords right now. Then I can have double basses on longs to make it a bit more impactful. So... And an end soft, maybe with some solos. So, I already had something there. So I had the cello line. So I'm just gonna put that there. Let me see. So what's the difference here? So this is more of a accompanying thing that reminds us of the theme. And instead of going down, I'm going back up. Otherwise, I would get this very weird. That it goes from E and then it lands on a D together. And I would like that to be we'll get oh that's nice so we get and again i'm not gonna bother too much with cc information the suspension here so that was I don't want to go too low then you'll end up I'm just gonna try both. First, on the higher octave. One trick, if you don't know, if you have a track selected, you have your modulation here, you can move your fader, and when it's zero, then it's on the position where you currently are. I need to check here. this down a little bit all right inner voices it is a repetition of course so let's see what happens if i put this in violas it could be the same but then a little flat uh, let me see and what if i put that in a second voice dvz mm. that's violas i really need to see somewhere Otherwise, this becomes very, very unstable. That one is nice. All right, I do need to see there. I think 
that's what I'll do. And then not everything has to move because we already have. And then here it just stays on a C. Here I had a C alternating in the, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I am mistaken. But we still have it there. And I like this movement. All right, let's see how this sounds. Maybe instead of... So it's similar to what we had before. But then second violin needs to go somewhere else. What am I missing? I have A, F, C, D. I'm not missing anything. Let's put this back in. There's something weird about it, but I also like it. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So it's, <laughs> I actually like it. I have this weird, which is very, very dissonant, but in context, it doesn't sound so bad in my opinion. And I want to try this octave down. Mm. And since I'm going here anyway, because this is now weird. What do the violas do? Maybe violas needs to go. I think that's better. I like it. And I think then I can move it down. How about... This will be... First violins divisi. Because they are coming out of... Out of divisi. And I might end with a string quartet doing... Like... That's not a bad idea. So here I have lower bases, and then here they can go up. And here I need to slow down as well. So let's just go back to original 65. But this needs to be way softer. I was thinking parallel fifths in the uh, low. Needs to be slower even. Yep. Maybe I will also do cellos DVZ. From here. So this is supported because I think I only have two double bases. Otherwise it's these this fifth becomes very uh, dominant. So we get although that might be a bit much. <laughs> Let's just try it first and then see what happens. It's not like Bach is gonna shoot me in the face or something. Violas. Let's just do it like this. I think I need to slow down here in this bar, then go even slower. I'll go... Minus two for each. Oh, that's actually minus three. Seven. Let's just try this out. It's a bit loud. It does feel like an ending though. To sort of make up for the divisi, I'm gonna drop these in volume here. Because now it's two full cello sections. Uh, if they're divided, they are of course less players. Need a break here. <laughs> So here I added a bit of a break. I'm gonna do it there. I could also make it a longer bar in terms of conducting ease.
this and then from here i'm just gonna cut these up for now <laughs> then bring back the opening in solo quartet. So let's just quickly move that in, in here, transpose it up. Then change it up. See if I can add another line. <laughs> or So here I'm alternating. First time it's G in violin and then F in viola. And second time G in viola, F in violin. And I'm now wondering if a harmonic glissando would work on G because I love that sound. Because then you get the major chord but with the lowered seventh, but also with a raised four. No, wouldn't work. <laughs> Very soft. I think here I will go tremolo in the first violins. I believe I have seven of those, so I can do solo three plus three. And in that last bar, a cello chord where the solo cello joins again. And I want lower voices on a double stop. Open strings. And then the other one. So. Maybe not, but I'm going to put it in and then... <laughs> And we know it's done. We have an ending. Put all this one bar later. You as well. So we have one bar of. Still not happy with this transition. Maybe this needs to stay a bit longer. And then the violas drop out there as well. Then they can join on the last chords. And then you stay longer. And then you start earlier. Yes. So then it's... This transition is still weird. And this is way too loud. Why are you not... You'll have to imagine that here in these two beats, going from long note to tremolo. All right, there are a couple of things that I still want to fix. And like CC data is still off, but those are kind of things I want to fix in the engraving orchestration part.
All right, I am happy with it. Thanks for watching this episode of Let's Compose. I hope you like how the piece turned out. Come back next week to see the orchestration process into Dorico. As always, I'd like to thank my patrons for their support. If you would like to see stems, full mixes, MIDI files, as well as the full score for this piece, do check out my Patreon in the link down below. As always, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please show and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next one.